Missing the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Snacking with Ortega. I'm your host of Extraordinary Magnitude, Ortega Latrobe, and today I'm bringing you a traditional Roman pasta dish called Cacio e Pepe. Cacio e Pepe literally translates to cheese and pepper. It's a super minimalistic dish with only five ingredients. For my pasta today, I'm using thin spaghetti, freshly grated pecorino romano, cracked black pepper, some olive oil, and a little pat of butter. Now, let's shoot it. Got a pot of water over some high heat for our pasta. Now, I know I preach to use plenty of water so you have room for the starch to escape. I'm using about half to two thirds the amount of water I normally do today because I want to use that starchy water as part of my sauce and it will concentrate more if there's less water in there. Science. While we wait for our water to boil, let's get on with our first step of our sauce. Get some oil in the pan tablespoon or so. Gonna heat that over a medium high heat. Gonna add our peppercorns and lightly toast them. Just gonna let that go for a minute or two till it starts getting a little aromatic. E pepe. Our cracked pepper's nice and toasted, so we wait on our water for our pasta to boil. We're just gonna set this off to the side to cool down. The water is boiling. The pasta is in. When it's al dente, I'll return with a grin. Our pasta's good to go, so now it's time to get saucy. Take our butter. I'm not going to strain and drain my pasta. I'm just going to take it straight from the pan because we're going to want a little bit of that starchy water in our sauce. It's also going to help break down that butter. Get that starting for us. Pasta's in the pan. Now we're going to sprinkle on some of our cheese. You want to do this two or three times. You don't want a whole bunch at once because you don't want it to clump up and get cloudy and stringy because that's fucking gross. Just take a tablespoon or two of our water. And just slowly work all that together. Building a nice, lovely, light, creamy sauce. Infused with the flavor of black pepper. The amount of food I've made here today is good for two average portions or one fat boy portion. The cheese is broken down. Noodles are all nice and coated with it. As always, it's your food, it's your mouth. Do it how you want to. If you want your sauce a little thinner, add a little bit more of that starchy water. If you want a little thicker and chewier on the cheese, add a little less. Want to see it? I'm going to show it to you. That's sexy. Let's plate this up and see how we did. Just going to garnish this with a pinch of dried parsley. A light dusting of the Pecorino Romano, and a few more grinds of that fresh cracked black pepper. And there you have it. Well, it's not going to put itself in your mouth. Oh my God. Okay, this is like old school ass. It's basically mac and cheese, man. But it's just so simple and different. And that pecorino romano has got such a great flavor to it. It seems a little stinky when you open the package, but it's, it's really, really got a great flavor. I believe it's a sheep's milk cheese. Oh man, yeah. This, this, this is like standard comfort food, man. Oh, this is sit in, watch a movie, cuddle up on the couch. Oh, yeah. Goddamn. And it's so easy. The most difficult part about this dish is making sure that, A, your pan's not too hot when you start to build your sauce because that's what causes the cheese to clump is if it's too hot. And if it's not hot enough, then you turn it up, it'll get stringy and kind of eat. And then once it's that way, it just kind of tightens up and tightens up and never really get to the saucy way you want it. But taking the pasta directly from the pot, you're using that heat as well as the heat of the water to help break down that cheese and create your saucy sauce. I implore you to try this. Minimal ingredients, minimal effort, maximum flavor. Well, Tribe, I'd like to thank you for taking your time and spending it here with me today. This has been Cascio de Pepe. I'm Ortega Latrobe, and you've been snacking with Ortega. I love Ortega's sauce. It makes my taco pop.